Hey guys, welcome to a new video and today I want to show you um, a really effective warm-up pattern that's based around the para diddle diddle, okay? Um, for those of you who follow me on social media, you'll have noticed that um, as a New Year's resolution I started studying stick control by George Lawrence Stone um, and it was just simply a chance to improve the sort of speed and dexterity and reaction speed of my hands. Um, so it's April now and I spent about four months doing this um, and I got through the whole book and will no doubt go through it once again soon. So for anyone who wants to get into just general rudiments or stick patterns, um, you can't get any better than stick control. Um, okay, so I want to show you this. Um, I want to say a thank you to Mike Johnston and Emmanuel Caplet um, because they put out a video similar to this a few months back and I wanted to take it um, a step further today just by changing it slightly. But to start with, I'll show you the pattern uh, that Mike Johnston and Emmanuel Caplet started teaching. I want to show you six patterns today. Uh, the first pattern is in 4-4 four, four time and we're playing the notes as 16th notes. So we're going to fill up a whole bar with 16 16th notes. Um, it's based around two paradiddle diddles and one paradiddle on the end. Okay, and the great thing about this is it moves from side to side, so it's a very unbiased example. So here it is, it's going to be up on your screen. Uh, we're going to go right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. It ends on a double right, which is going to allow us to flip it onto our left side to create that non-biased feel and it's going to flip from side to side. So the second half would be left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Okay, we're going to work this slowly and take it at whatever speed you like. You can introduce a click, it's completely up to you, but I'm going to play it free today. So here we go, nice and slow. And then it flips. Okay, so now we're just going to do it back to back and just gradually increase the speed. And just get faster. Okay, that's pattern number one. It's absolutely brilliant for just warming up your hands for gigs, studio work, or long practice sessions. Okay, uh, the next pattern is um, based upon 5-8. Okay, that's an odd time signature, and I'll explain to you how this comes about. So we're actually going to remove one of the paradiddle diddles now. Okay, one paradiddle diddle is worth three eighth notes. So in a bar of 4-4, four, four, where you can play eight eighth notes, when you remove a paradiddle diddle, you're going to remove three notes, so eight becomes five. Let's check it out. It goes right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. So it's a much shorter pattern and it can almost trick you um, that it moves quickly to the other hand so quickly. So here it is, nice and slow, it's on your screen. Okay, it starts to speed it up. You're going to notice it's quite a short little phrase. Okay. Okay, the next example then. Uh, we're going to now extend it over 4-4 four, four time. So we're going to add another paradiddle diddle which means that we're going to end up adding three eighth notes which brings us from eight to eleven so we're going to be playing an eleven eight and it looks a little something like this it's on the screen and then it flips Okay, it's a much longer phrase and really don't worry that it's not in 4-4 time, just, um, just feel it's a very long phrase that allows you to work on your dexterity, your reaction speed and just general stick control. Okay, so here it is, I'll work it slowly and gradually get faster.
Okay, really cool pattern that one. So there's your first three examples. Now this is where the hybrid element comes in. So we're going to go back to our version in 4-4 time, um, but instead of playing a paradiddle at the end, we're actually going to play just a string of single strokes, so four single strokes at the end. And you'll notice with this one that once you start with your leading hand, it will actually continue um, to resolve onto that hand. Okay, so this will almost create or two separate examples, one for your right hand and one for your left hand. So it looks like this. You'll notice there's just single strokes on the end, no paradiddles. So let's work this one now nice and slow and then just get faster as your muscle memory kicks in. Okay, we can move it to our left side as well. Okay, that's a bit harder for me. I'm a right-handed guy, um, so I have to work my left a little, little bit harder there. Um, but it's okay. It's uh, designed to make you uh, a little bit more um, ambidextrous with your hands, uh, so it translates well onto the drum kit. Okay, we're now going to move to the version that's in 5-8 time, and this one definitely is one of the hardest ones from today's exercises. Um, it's a para-diddle-diddle, followed by four single strokes, okay? And it will keep on the right hand. Here it is. Now we'll speed it up. Okay, gonna move on to our left hand. Okay, great. And finally, the sixth example today, we're going to bring it back into 11-8 time. Um, it's a longer phrase and we're just going to pop our four single strokes on at the end. So it looks like this, right-handed version. Okay, we're going to move that quicker. Okay, and then finally we're going to put it on our left hand as well. Okay, great. So the six examples there. Um, I really hope you get on well with them. Um, just take them slowly first. Just, you know, a couple of days of just doing them slowly and then just build them up and you just get them quicker and quicker. I know that I'll want to. I'll spend more time with these just to reach faster tempos. Okay. Um, thanks, guys. Um, leave your comments below if you enjoyed this lesson and uh, who knows, I'll shoot some more for you. Um, be sure to follow me on all the social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the likes. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.